So let's do an example. Let's say we have coordinate system A, its representation is point P is 1, 0, 1. We have another frame B located at 0, 0, 10 with respect to frame A. So let me draw frame A here. Uh, that's X, Y would be in, C points up. B is up here with its X this way and Z points down. So B is rotated 180 degrees about the X axis with respect to A. And we have point P at, let's call this uh, 1, zero one okay so we want to find point p in frame b so we're going to need the transformation matrix um, from a to b so that we can get point b point p in the b frame by multiplying h from a to b times P A. Okay, so first thing we're going to need is the, um, remember that A, the transformation matrix from A to B is the rotation from A to B, and then we have the origin of A in the B frame. Okay. The origin of B of A in the B frame is just it's um, well ten units in the Z direction, right? So it'd be zero zero ten. The rotation from uh, A to B. If we look at it, it's just a rotation about the uh, x-axis. Okay, so it's a rotation of 180 degrees about the x-axis. And remember, the rotation matrix for an x-rotation is just cosine, uh, sine, minus sine, and cosine. So sine of 180 degrees is a um, zero. Uh, cosine of 180 degrees is a minus one. So we're gonna have a minus one here and zeros here. And this makes sense um, if you think of um, the, let me draw a different ink here. If you look at the first column of that rotation matrix, that should be the x unit vector of A expressed in the B frame, and they're just the same, right, because they're pointing the same direction. Um, the other two, okay, so this would be the Z unit vector of A expressed in the B frame. And, you know, so basically it's saying that the Z axis is pointing in the negative Z axis of the B frame. And that's true from looking at it here. Okay, so to um, finish this problem, um, we're going to have, um, excuse me, we're going to have point in the B frame is just this transformation matrix from A to B times its representation in the A frame. And we just said that the rotation matrix was a 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 1. And the translation, the origin of B and the A 
is a 0, 0, 10, and we stick a 1 there. Okay, so we multiply that by the uh, position of a, a point in the A-frame, which we said was this. And multiplying that out, you get um, a 1, 0, 9, 1. Okay, so that makes sense if you look at um, where point where the point is in the B frame. It's plus 9 in the Z direction and plus 1 in the X direction. So to do this in MATLAB you could um, construct a rotation matrix. Well I just defined the rotation matrix as what we found there. Here's the translation of A with respect to B. This forms the 4x4 four four matrix. <coughs> Excuse me. And this multiplies um, those together to get the representation of B in the A in, of the point in the B frame.